Well, I'm an idiot. In the last video, I pointed to the TV screen and said, click here for a link to a video, except I didn't realize that annotations don't work anymore, so now it's just blank and there's nothing to click on, so I look stupid. Perfect. Hi, I'm Eli. I'm from Mason Casey, and welcome back to Eli's Corner, where I review movies for fun because I'm just very bored and I guess I'm just stuck living in the past. Ha <laughs> ha! But in this video, I'm going to be re reviewing a movie that came out very recently. I got my 80s-esque shirt ready to go, so let's get into it. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And I'm just going to jump right into it, guys. This movie is amazing. And dare I say, may even be better than the original? However, I think that's a little too soon to say, so I'm just gonna say, just as good as its predecessor. By the way, spoiler free, guaranteed, I think. What I love what this movie did is that it showed how the characters have progressed since the last movie. It shows how the Guardians have become more of a family than just a team. And some character story arcs are expanded upon in this movie, one in particular being Yondu, who, in my opinion, has the best story arc in the entire movie. And I don't want to go into further detail because I feel it goes more into spoilers, but I will say that it is very emotional. Other emotional character arcs you see throughout this movie is the sisterhood between Gamora and Nebula, who, if you remember from the last movie, didn't exactly see eye to eye, and in this movie still don't see eye to eye, but the relationship between them is more touched upon in this movie. Even the relationship between Peter and his father actually takes a turn that I didn't expect it to. Well, I mean, anyone with half a brain would expect it to, but when you're in the moment, you don't really expect it. You know what I mean? But enough about character arcs, more about what we really loved about this movie. And this movie is fun. Like, from the very first scene, it gives you exactly what you want and what we love about Guardians of the Galaxy. And the rest of the movie is no exception. It's full of action, it has jokes, it has feels, all the whole shebang, probably even more so than the original. Another thing that I loved in this movie is the action. Like, it is perfect. Probably a little less action in this movie from the last movie, but it is still, it, the action brings it up a notch. There's a scene between Yondu and Rocket that they both have, and it is probably one of, it's probably the best action scene in the entire movie, because it is just beautiful. Which leads into my next point, that this movie is also visually interesting. Like, the CGI in this movie is amazing. For an example, the planet that the Guardians go to it is just incredible to look at. Like, all the colors and the interesting stuff in the background, it is, it's just awesome to watch on screen. Oh, and the soundtrack is, is awesome, by the way. Like, the last one, awesome. This one, also awesome. Like, it's, it's great. Last thing I like to touch upon is the jokes um, in the Guardians of the Galaxy 2. The jokes have become kind of like a staple in the Guardians of the Galaxy, and in this movie, at least for me, it works. Like, all of them are a hit. And Yondu probably has the best joke of all. And it's near it's near the climax of it. I guess that's also the downside to this movie, is that maybe it's a little too joke-heavy. Maybe there are too many jokes in it. But that's only... But I guess that's more of a personal preference, because if you don't like too many jokes in movies, then you're probably not going to enjoy this as much. But if you didn't mind them like I didn't, then you'll enjoy this fine. So overall guys, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is action-packed, it's humorous, it's got feels, it has everything. So much so that after the movie you just gotta take a breath and go like, whew, man, that was awesome. So the final review or final verdict is, uh, okay, uh, th this is hard because I love this movie a lot. So much so that I want to give it a 10 out of 10. But I want to be a fair reviewer too. But if I did that, I wanted to give it a high 9 point something out of 10. You know what? Screw it. It's my video and I can do whatever the hell I want. So, as my friend Will would say, 10 out of 10 recommend. By the way, best Stanley cameo ever. I'm just saying. 
So guys, that's it for this review. Thank you all for watching, and... I miss doing short films. But, I mean, it's not like anything exciting is going to happen anytime soon.